Hey, it's Nathan with Crazy Eye Marketing, and in this short video, I'm going to show you how to connect Samcart to Zapier. And this isn't exactly an official integration. They're working on that currently. They've started it, and I'm recording this video on 20 September 2016. So if you're in the future from now, they might have an official Zapier integration, and you could ignore this video and go watch one that shows you the official integration. But if that hasn't been set up yet, then this video will show you the next best solution. So here we are inside the Sam cart and I created a test product just so I have something to work with for this video. I'm gonna go ahead and hit this edit option and I'm gonna go ahead and select integrations here on the left hand side, scroll on down and we see the option here for notification URL and an HTTP post will be sent to this page every time an order is made, canceled, or refunded for this product. So cool, what we can do here is plug in one of Zapier's webhook URLs into this box here, and we can form our connection that way. So go on over to Zapier here. We're gonna go ahead and make a zap. And for our trigger app, we're gonna look up webhook. So webhooks by Zapier. And we want to catch a hook, select this option, hit save and continue. We can ignore this step here, scroll on down and we see that we have this URL here. So this is the URL we're gonna plug into Samcart. So go ahead, copy it to your clipboard, come back over to Samcart and paste it into the notification URL text box, hit save changes. Changes successfully saved. We can go back to Zapier. Hit OK, I did this. And it says, if you haven't yet, go create a brand new webhook. And we just did that, but what we need to do now is trigger it. So that way Zapier can see the information that Samcart is sending through that URL. So come back to your dashboard here. And if your product isn't in sandbox mode currently, you might want to switch it there. So that way you can run payments for free or not be charged when you run a payment. Just copy URL and we'll go ahead and load up our page and go ahead and check out real quick. So our order has been placed. Let's go back into Zapier here and see if it finds, oh, there it goes, test was successful. So we can view a sample of our information here. So view your hook, and we can see the information that was passed through the URL. So we have our phone number, email, first name, product ID. I'll show you more on this in just a second. What they paid for it, sh shipping address, product name, order total, customer last name, IP address, etc. So all this information that is ju essentially just filled out on the order form. So we got all that in here. Now we can hit continue. And now we can set up our action step. And this is just like setting up any other Zapier zap. So if we want to connect to Active Campaign or Google Calendar or Twitter or wherever, there's over 500 different applications you can connect to and you can set that up in here and you would just do it like you normally would if you're familiar with uh, Zapier at all. So let me just show you essentially the data it pulls in. So I'm just setting up a connection to Active Campaign here and Samcart does already offer integration with Active Campaign so you wouldn't need to use Zapier to set up this integration but I'm just doing it for an example. So I can select my list like normal pick my email address, which was passed through the hook. So my customer email, first name, plug that in here, last name, plug that in there, phone number, I can add that because I took that down on the registration form, I can add tags, all the stuff you normally would do uh, when you're setting up your Zap. And again, this works for any action you want Zapier to perform. And real quick, I'll show you where to get that uh, product number. So we have product ID right here, right here. And there's also the product name itself. So if you want to add a tag for the product name, that can work as well. It's somewhere in here. There we go, product name. So you can do it by product name or product ID. Product name is pretty self-explanatory, but I'll show you the product ID. 
So if you come back out here to products and you hover over the pencil of your product right here, you see in the bottom left hand corner there, it says your SAM card URL dashboard products and then a number. And that number is the number or the product ID number. So that's where you can find that. And that's really all there is to setting up the SAM cart to Zapier integration. And hopefully when they launch it officially, it makes it even easier.